Punk. Who writes this nonsense? Huh? Oh, hi everyone. How are you all? Hope you are doing well. I hope you all are enjoying this quarantine by making yourself bored, depressed, frustrated from inside, right? My name is Obhishek Mujumdar. I am a destination wedding photographer and also a YouTube. Do I really need to waste your time by introducing myself? Huh? Let's get straight into the video, okay? Oh, I forgot to mention, if you are new in this channel, make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and also hit that notification bell icon so that you get updated every time when I release a video. Actually, I release video every Thursday on this YouTube channel. But now I'm planning to release two videos a week. Don't tell anyone, okay? It's a secret eh? between you and us. So for macro photography, the main instrument you need is a continuous light on your subject or in your product. Whether it is a LED light or a mobile flashlight, whichever doesn't make any sense. Bang. Step number two, you need a camera and a lens. Bang. Of course, not that one. This one. Step number three, the most important instrument to do a macro photography is your product, is your subject. So today I would like to demonstrate this macro photography to you all with a wedding ring. So for that you need a ring. Bang. Not that one. This one. So today I will tell you about the fact that you have never ever thought about before or anyone have or haven't told you before. Whatever doesn't make any sense. Bang. That this camera is a point and shoot camera, point and shoot digital camera. This camera can do macro photography. Oh, no. Can you imagine? A lot of beginners at the very beginning of their photography career has this misconception about the fact that kit lens can do macro photography. Let me tell you, you are wrong. You are wrong, but don't get me wrong, okay? You guys always thought that uh, it's a kit lens, so it has a wide perspective, which will help us to get close to the subject. It's true. That is true. You can get close to the subject with your kit lens, but how much? But let me tell you, you can't do any macro photography with your kit lens. The main aspect of a macro photography is the minimum focusing distance between lens and your object or subject, whatever you call it. Have you ever gone through those digits written on the top of your lens? Have you ever gone through? No. I will tell you today and give you a live example about minimum focusing distance about each and every lenses, including also this point and shoot lenses and this will this small puppy will blow your mind i'm telling you and will make you addicted with this camera to do macro photography so stick around to the end of the video stick around so first of all i would like to use this kit lens as you can see it's 18 to 105 f4 g oss lens from sony i am using sony a6300 as my primary camera at first let me show you where the minimum focusing distance written on your lens first you need to remove your lens cap and you can clearly see here it is written 18 to 105 f4 g oss lens oss stands for optical steady shots it means optical image stabilization and here is the minimum focusing distance is written 0.45 meter minimum and maximum 0.95 meter which is equivalent to 1.48 feet to maximum 3.12 feet so at first let me use this lens to do macro photography and show you the results after this one i will show you this prime lens which is a fixed lens and i will also show you the minimum focusing distance written on this and last but not the least the highlighting point of this video is this point and shoot camera what the minimum focusing distance this lens has that it can shoot a macro photography which is next to unbelievable and some features you don't know about this camera so first of all i'm trying with this kit lens by keeping the lens as close as possible to the subject but as you can see it's not focusing guys it's not focusing the subject at all so let me do one thing let me back up a little bit and now it's focusing guys but you can clearly see the frame guys it's a big environment and the distance between the lens and the object 
it's a huge environment guys it's definitely not a ideal macro photography lens guys it's not a macro photographic lens now i would like to use this lens and show you the results of macro photography whether you can do it with this lens or not but first let me show you the minimum focusing distance written on this lens so as you can see it is a 50 mm fixed lens with 1.8 aperture there is also oss built in in this lens which stands for optical steady shots also the minimum focusing distance of this lens is 0.39 meter which is equivalent to 1.28 feet wow which is less than the kit lens as you can see the kit lens was 1.48 feet and the prime lens is 1.28 feet even this kit lens starts from 18 and the prime lens is 50 things are becoming interesting guys things are becoming interesting let's see what this lens can do so now i am shooting with this prime lens it's a 50 millimeter prime lens and as you can see it's clearly not focusing at all because it's a prime lens you have to back up a little bit now you can see it's focusing the subject and you can see the distance between subject and lens now you can clearly see the differences between 50 mm prime lens and the kit lens and here is the picture of the ring taken from the prime lens it looks gorgeous but it is not at all a macro photography guys so you can't use both of these two lens kit lens and prime lens for macro photography the main part of the video guys you will be shocked when you came to know that the minimum focusing distance of this camera is insanely less than these two lens let me show you those minimum focusing distance of this camera it's written on here as you can see it's written canon zoom lens 10x image stabilization is stands for image stabilization it's canon it's old camera everyone used to have this type of camera when they travel a lot when they travel with their family they used to buy this camera the minimum focusing distance of this camera is written here guys is 4.3 millimeter to 43 millimeter so minimum is 4.3 and maximum is 43 so can you imagine 4.3 millimeter focusing distance which is roughly about 0.17 feet guys can you imagine in terms of technical aspect we came to know that it can do macro photography we have to prove ourselves let's find out guys let's find out so as you can see now i'm shooting with this point and shoot camera and you can clearly see how close i am to the subject and it's still focusing let me show you it from another angle look at this guys how close i am to the subject isn't that insanely awesome yes guys it is and it's auto focusing guys this is how close everyone goes when they are doing macro photography with their professional lens now let me show you a sample of this camera look at this guys look at this it's stunning can you believe that a small camera can do this type of thing look at the pictures guys even it is with an just a point and shoot camera so guys as you can see with the help of this small puppy we can create macro photography guys i know that the resolution is not up to the mark as a dslr camera or as a uh, mirrorless camera as a professional DSLR camera but it is a great backup camera when you don't even have the option to create micro photography using your lenses because you don't have macro lenses with you you can create that stuff with this camera there is nothing wrong to create your stuff with this camera guys you should never create your professional video stuff with this camera or cinematography with this camera i know a lot of professional photographer will say that why do we need this camera why who who use this camera for a professional work i know that i know that nobody will use this camera for a professional work or a macro photography but i am making this video only for those beginners who have planned to buy a professional camera to start their photography career but due to this lockdown situations they couldn't even buy those camera and now they are losing their hope to be a photographer to pursue their dream i would like to tell all the beginners that stop giving yourself excuses and start giving yourself a chance to prove yourself that you are the best rediscover yourself from inside unleash your hidden potential unleash your hidden talent 
and start creating something that never been happened before why i have chosen this camera to give an example to you all in this video because i want you to start your hidden creativity hidden potentials this is the time to practice this is the time to groom up yourself no one will help you in your career to achieve what you want until and unless you will help yourself to achieve what you want i know that you might have a question in your mind that what are the benefits of this macro photography yes guys macro photography is itself is an art it's a visualization this macro photography will help you in your wedding work if you start doing this macro photography in home now in this quarantine situation it will help you to practice your wedding work because if you ask a lot of wedding photographers out there they will tell you that macro photography is essential in every wedding work we have to do macro photography we have to do product photography we have to do jewelry dress costume everything if you are planning to become a destination wedding photographer then you have to learn macro photography product photography which you can do it in your home guys product photography is not at all very hard you can do macro photography you can do product photography you can do food photography with whatever camera you have either it is a mobile phone or it is a digital camera or even it is a dslr camera you are not doing it professionally you are practicing so you can use this camera and if this thing has the capability of do macro photography why not guys let me tell you one thing expensive gears expensive camera lens doesn't matter at all what matters the most is your inherent talent your imagination your visualization and your execution this is the thing that is most important never give up your dreams guys never give up your dreams i hope this video is helpful for you if this video is helpful for you then make sure to hit the like button and comment us below what you guys think about this video did i make the right choice for you as to practice yourself as to groom yourself with this camera and please do subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell icon so that you get updated whenever i release a video stay home stay safe guys i will catch you in the next one take care